here's what I've come to learn in my work as a leadership advisor. As human beings, we instinctively hold anyone we deem to be a leader to a higher standard of behavior. We expect more from those in leadership roles, and we should. Now, we hope that they will step up and lead, create exceptional organizations, and even make the world a better place. And when they succeed, we praise them, we admire them, and we even want to emulate them. However, when they fail, or misbehave, or are mediocre, we feel a sense of disappointment, despair, and even disgust. All of this to me implies that there's always been a contract when it comes to leadership, but it's always been implicit. But here's the problem. We've never made this contract explicit with leaders. In fact, many people who I've worked with have told me that they've taken on leadership roles without really being clear of what they signed up for. In fact, many people in leadership roles have treated this leadership contract like an online contract. You know the ones when you're working on your laptop that comes up on your screen with all the terms and conditions? What do you do when that happens? You scroll down to the bottom and you click agree without ever reading a single word. You know you're bound to something, you're not quite sure what that is. Now, given the challenges that leaders face today and will face over the decade, the role is demanding. You cannot accept a role in a lighthearted way. You have to pause and reflect on the leadership contract and really think about what you're signing up for. And as a leader, you need to understand that there are four terms and conditions that you need to embrace. The first is that leadership is a decision and you have to make it. The second term states that leadership comes with obligation and you need to step up. The third term on the leadership contract says that leadership is a lot of hard work and you have to get tough. And finally, the fourth term states that leadership today is a community and you need to connect. Are you ready to embrace the four terms of the leadership contract?